Uh, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, my subscribers on YouTube, peeps on Facebook, everybody at House of Notum, and of course, NFL fans around the world. Are you ready for another week? Woo! Of course, you know who I am. It's the D-O-U-G here, and it's time once again for Football Picks Week 16. That we're getting closer and closer to the playoffs. Who's going to dance with the lights on, boy? Who will shine? And who will be playing golf? But before we get to Week 16, we have to head back to Week 15 for a recap and my winners and losers of the week. We started off Thursday night of week 15 with the Cardinals defeating the Rams 12-6 to and was a pretty much of, so you think he can kick, um, Connor's field goal kicker pretty much was the MVP of that game. Then we head to the Sunday games. Of course, Sunday night, my Dallas Cowboys would rally after giving up a 21-0 lead to win 38-27, uh, 38-27, over the Philadelphia Eagles, putting them right now in the driver's seat for the moment. Uh, Eagles got hooked by turning the ball over four times. That's been their biggest problem. The Steelers finally do something they haven't done a lot this year. They won against a team below 500. Sorry, Andrew, I had to do it. Steelers won their 27-20 against Atlanta. Still very close game. The Giants beat up on the Redskins 24-13 of... RG3 will be starting this week. Uh, Colt McCoy is out. Um, Santana Moss got thrown out of the game. We'll talk about that in a little while. Patriots lock up the AFC East after they beat the holy hell out of the Dolphins. Sorry, Clark. Patriots won 41 to 13. Sorry about your damn luck, as the saying goes. The Chiefs get revenge on the Raiders, beating them 31-13, keeping their playoff hopes alive. The Colts hold off the Houston Texans to clinch the AFC South and give them another playoff spot as they win 17-10. The Ravens survive a scare in Baltimore as they beat the Jaguars 12-20, keeping the Ravens' hope alive. The Bills shock the Packers, winning 21-13. And they hold Aaron Rodgers to zero touchdowns. Remember, they did the same thing to Peyton Manning as well. The Panthers keep their slim hopes of a playoff shot alive as they defeat the Buccaneers 19-17. And they did it without Cam Newton. This was a game they played for him. Over in Cleveland, we found out the only thing that's good about Cleveland is the Miz and Dolph Ziggler as the Bengals... Flash the money sign all over the Cleveland Browns, 30 to nothing. Johnny Menzel looked like a joke. The New York Jets get the first road win of the year, winning 16 to 11. Unfortunately, the bad news is you are not going to probably be in the top five in draft picks. Congratulations, you dummies. Titans were probably happy they lost because it means they can actually draft a quarterback. The Broncos beat the San Diego Chargers 22 to 10, winning their division. So the Broncos are now in the playoffs as well. The Lions hold off the Minnesota Vikings 16 to 14 in what was a very good matchup. And of course, the 49ers. Sorry, Mr. Goodrich. The 49ers have been eliminated from playoffs as the Seahawks won 17 to 70. Amidst controversy, though, because the refs fucked up. So refs, you fucked up. You fucked up. You fucked up. That's the best way to put it. 49ers have a legit gripe that they got screwed a bit. And of course, last night, the Saints keep their playoff hopes alive, winning 31-15. So yeah, I went 14-2. and The only two games I lost was the Bills game and the Steelers game. Let's talk about the um, best wins of the week. Well, there's a lot of them. So, we actually got five best wins of the week. Of course, Cowboys get it because they keep their playoff hope alive. And they don't control their own destiny at the moment. Of course, the Patriots, Colts, and Broncos for winning their games. Because they lock up a division. And, of course, the Buffalo Bills winning a game that a lot of people did not have them winning. So, congratulations to that, Mr. Michael Willoughby. I know you're very happy about that right about now because it keeps your hope alive. Um, however, worst team of the week goes to Cleveland. They were the only team not to get any points. They, and what's astounding by this, and this is why I want to bring this up. A few weeks ago, this same Cleveland team utterly destroyed Cincinnati. 
24 to 3 in week 10. My God, how that's changed. And our worst player of the worst player of the week, staying with Cleveland, Johnny Manziel. 10 for 8, 80 yards and zero touchdown passes. And oh, by the way, he threw two picks. Bengals had a field day on his ass. Defensively. Um so yeah, um, as for best player of the week, I'm actually going to give it to the Buffalo Bills defense. They got the best defense in the NFL right now, and they may miss the playoffs just because how good the AFC the AFC is right now. That's how good that's how good the AFC is. The Bills could get a winning record and miss the playoffs. Same with Kansas City. So go figure. Um, staying going, oh, we may as well talk about playoff standings. We're going to start with the AFC. For a change, right now, New England lock up the number one seed. Of, uh, at least a first round bye, I should say, with a win this week. Denver, who's also at eleven and three, can lock up a first round bye as well with a win this week. Indianapolis Colts, right now you're the third seed. You can still get. A first round bye and even home field, but anyway, that's going to happen. You have to win the next two games, and oh by the way, the Patriots and the Broncos have to lose the next two games. I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, Cincinnati right now is the fourth seed at the moment. That could change in after this week in Week 17 because they play Pittsburgh in Week 17. Um, right now, Pittsburgh and Baltimore control their own destiny as the two wild card teams. Uh, both of them at nine and five. Kansas City and San Diego and Buffalo, they're at eight and six. So they can still jump Pittsburgh and Baltimore, but they need help. Now, however, if Kansas City who do, and they play Pittsburgh this week, so keep that in mind. Kansas City and Pittsburgh, that's an elimination game. If Kansas City Buffalo and San Diego lose and Baltimore and Pittsburgh win, that would eliminate Kansas City, San Diego, and Buffalo guaranteeing Cincinnati a spot as well. Because they, they, they could get the tail wins imaginably. So unless Cincinnati loses the next two, I think, because I don't know, I, I, the, the tiebreaker for, the, you know, with them having a tie this year, it fucking hurts me a bit because I can't figure out the math. So if I can read some shit, you're going to figure out, you'll probably figure out better than me on this one. But at least guaranteed, if Pittsburgh and Baltimore win, that will pretty much eliminate Kansas City for a moment, San Diego and Buffalo if they lose. Depending on what happens with Cincinnati, I think. I don't know for certain. Um, now Houston and Miami are still in it, but they need to win out and get some help. Now, of course, like I said, Kansas City, they play Pittsburgh this week. Um, San Diego and Buffalo just let me... Just let your fans know, San Diego, you play at San Francisco this Saturday and then at Kansas City. And Buffalo, you play Oakland this week and then at New England. So you could still make it, but you're going to need help from other teams. Um, so don't... You know, so yeah... So just keep that in mind. <laughs> um, so yeah. Um, and by the way, you know, it is what it is. No offense. Um, I will say this though. I'm, everyone should be keeping an eye on those Week 16 games for Kansas City, San Diego, Buffalo, and Houston. Over in the, A over in the NFC now, Arizona is right now the number one seed. Um, at 11 and 3, they can lock up their division this week with a win over Seattle, and they can actually get a first round bye as well if they win the next two games and home field as well. If my math is correct, which it probably is somehow. Detroit right now is the number two seed thanks to Green Bay losing. So they hold the tie break over Green Bay for the moment, and they hold the tie break over Dallas as well. Dallas right now, like I said, they are in control of their own destiny. As they are the night now the leading in the NFC East. And of course New Orleans leads in the South. As far as for the two wildcard teams. Seattle and Green Bay hold that uh, distinction. Philadelphia is on the outside looking in. It's because they do not have a tiebreaker right now. They're at 9-5. and five. 
San Francisco, Minnesota have San Francisco was eliminated. So right now in the NFC, you have seventeen. Well, technically more than seven because Atlanta and Carolina are still battling in the South. But if Carolina and Atlanta lose, that would eliminate them because New Orleans would most likely win the division. So this week is big for Atlanta. Atlanta needs a win over New Orleans. Uh, Philadelphia. They can still win the division if they win the next two, and Dallas loses one of the games. If, if, if for some weird reason it all ends up being a 11 and 5, then it comes down to tiebreakers, which right now Dallas would, would lose the tiebreaker to Philly. They would lose the tiebreaker to Detroit if Detroit fell to the wild card situation. Now, however, they would hold the tiebreaker over Seattle. Because they did beat Seattle. So as long as it's just those two, I think Dallas would get in, I believe. Um, and of course, I think they hold the tiebreaker over Green Bay. And we're just going to bring off the playoff machine right now. Just to make sure my math is correct. Uh, yeah. Pfft. Excuse me for a minute. I'm doing math. La, 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 la. Do 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 By the way, I hope everyone's having a good day today. Now let's say the Colts lose. Here's the thing, Eagles would jump in front of them. Yeah, so Dallas fans know you can win, you can still get in if you go eleven and five and Seattle does just Seattle. Just Seattle, okay? Because heaven forbid, and I do mean heaven forbid here, because because let's say you go 11 and 5, and then the Eagles go 11 and 5. Well, then here's what would happen. Because like I said, Seattle could get eliminated if they do if they lose this week. They pretty much would be eliminated most likely. Well, actually, no. Here's what would happen. Green, Green Bay would be eliminated because Dallas was a tiebreaker over them. But let's say, for shits and giggles, Seattle and Dallas both end up 10-6. and six. Well, then Dallas would get in. So Dallas has ways to get in. So pretty much, we won't know the NFC till probably Week 17 at this point. So it's going to be interesting to see if or what happens to them. Um, but anyway, let's get to the games we have this week. We start up Thursday night football with, oh dear God, no, <laughs> oh God. I'm actually going to be watching this game because there ain't going to be really nothing else on Thursday night. The Tennessee Titans versus the Jacksonville Jaguars. Well, let's be honest here. Loser of this game will most likely be the number one or number two seed in the draft. And I'm sure if it's they're going, Tennessee would draft a quarterback. Jacksonville has a pretty good quarterback. They just need talent around him. I'm taking Jacksonville at home here. I trust Jacksonville a little more than Tennessee. I know that's not saying much, but it is what it is. Go Jaguars. And what will be the worst fucking game of Thursday night football history. <laughs> Moving on to the two Saturday games. Yes, two Saturday games. Uh, now, let's start with the one that's going to be on first at 4.30 on the NFL Network. It will be the Philadelphia Eagles taking on the Washington Redskins. As you can see, they do not have the times updated on this one yet. I am taking the Eagles on the road to win this one. You know, they did look shaky at home against Dallas. And the Eagles' last two games are on the road. It's a rivalry game. So records don't matter. Philadelphia is favored, and I'm taking the Eagles on this one. Mark Sanchez is going to be playing. Nick Foles has not been cleared. So you're going to have to deal with Mark Sanchez this week. You may get Nick Foles back for the playoffs. That's if you make it. You, this is this pretty much, this game decides the Eagles' playoff chances. If they lose, they are in big fucking trouble. Big trouble. But I'll think, I think they'll win this one. I think they'll win this one. If this was week 17... They might have problems because the Giants have been getting hot. You know, Giants can't make the playoffs. They're, they're playing for pride right now. And Giants have actually been looking good, you know, since they got their pieces back. It's too little too late for the Giants, but 
that's next week. This round, Redskins have not been looking like a good team. You know, the only thing going for the Redskins' favor right now is this. Eagles are looking banged up. They turn over the ball a lot, and they have not been a good road team. They were 3-3 three and three on the road. So, but I'm taking the Eagles. As far as for the Saturday night game, which you can watch on CBS at about 825, it will be the San Diego Chargers traveling to San Francisco. I am taking, and sorry Mr. Goodrich, I am taking San Diego on this one. You stay classy, San Diego. San Diego's playing for a playoff spot right now. They can still get in with some help. 49ers right now. They're playing for team pride. That's all they can do. They're probably not going to have their coach next year anyway because the ownership of the 49ers are complete mentally retarded. So, yeah, I'm taking 49ers to lose at home again. Uh, so, go San Diego. Going to the Sunday, 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 Sunday games. Vikings travel to Miami. And this one was a hard pick. I had a hard time picking this one. But, Mr. Clark... Good news. I am taking Miami Dolphins to win at home over the Minnesota Vikings. Miami's been a good home team this year. You know, it's going to be a close game. I think Miami edges out that heat. Plays real tricks on your mind. Um, so I'm going with Miami. We're going to Miami. Me, me, yangy, yangy, yangy. Heading to Houston. The Ravens travel to Houston to take on the Texans. Texans win. Keeps their playoff hopes alive. Ravens win. Well, Ravens will pretty much guarantee them a, a playoff spot. Maybe. I'm taking Baltimore on this one. Like I've said with Houston, I love their defense, but their quarterback, not so much. I'm taking Baltimore. Lion, uh, Lions travel to Chicago, dear guys. I'm taking Detroit on this one, guys. Did you just see what happened to Chicago this week? I don't care if this is a rivalry game. Bears suck. Bears don't have any pride left in themselves. Bears are pretty much... And I'm sorry, Magic Man, because I know you're a Bears fan, but Bears have went the way of the dodo. They suck. They died. They're going to migrate over to Canada. Hey, Lions win. Browns take on the Panthers. Well, I'm taking the Browns on this one. Just because I like their defense a little more. I'm a fan of their defense. So, yeah, I'm taking the Browns on this one, guys. So, go Cleveland. Woohoo! You know, granted, I don't trust Johnny Football at all to save my motherfucking life here. But. Keyword here, but. Yeah, I'm still taking the Browns. I got a better defense. You know, it is what it is, folks. So, yeah, go with that. Just go with that feeling right now. Moving on to Atlanta. Well, I mean, New Orleans. It would be the New Orleans Saints taking on the Atlanta Falcons. I am taking the New Orleans Saints on this one. Right now, they are the better team, at least to me. Granted, that's not saying much with how bad the NFC South is to the point the NFC South makes Big Show versus Eric Roman and a stairs man to look like a freaking masterpiece. Um, I'm taking the Saints. Am I confident in it? No, but it is what it is. Um, so yeah, moving on, we got the Packers taking on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and I'm taking the Green Bay Packers on this one, Travis. Um, Buccaneers are just a terrible team. This is, this is what I would call a bounce back game for the Green Bay Packers. So go Green Bay. Woohoo! Moving on, Kansas City travel to Pittsburgh to take on the Steelers. Um, I'm... This was a hard pick, and I'm taking the Chiefs, and I know what my buddy Andrew is doing. He's like, oh, hallelujah, he's not taking the Steelers. I say that because, as we know, when I've picked the Steelers this year, nine times out of ten, they have lost. But I'm taking, I'm not, but I'm taking Kansas City for this reason. We don't know, this is a coin flip to me because we don't know these two teams too well. Steelers have gone up and down this whole year. It's like, the teams they're supposed to beat, like, Buccaneers, New Orleans, Jets, they don't. The teams they should not beat, they do. So this is a very, very close matchup. Probably will be one of the best early games of the week on Sunday. So I'm taking the Chiefs. Going to be a close one. If the Chiefs lose, they are eliminated. They are done, depending on what happens in the Ravens-Texans game. 
So I know Chiefs fans will be watching this game, but they'll be keeping an eye on the Texans and Ravens game. Moving on to the last all-day game of the day on Sunday, the New England Patriots with Tom Brady will take on the New York Jets. Yeah, I'm taking the Patriots on this one, folks. Don't get me wrong. The Jets won it, finally won a road game this week. Nobody gives a fuck. Jets still suck. Rex, the head coach, is going to get fired after this. Rex Ryan's going to get fired, terminated. Hasta la vista, baby. He's going to be done. Patriots win this game. Deal with it. Moving on. The New York Giants travel to St. Louis. Now, a few weeks ago, I would have picked the Rams just because the Giants were bleh. But, hey, this rookie receiver they got has been just been smoking play teams. He's been making teams look like a joke. And even when they lose... I'm taking the Giants on this one. Better receiving court. That's what's going to determine this. A good defense versus a great receiving court right now. I'm taking the receivers for New York. Giants win. Buffalo Bills take on the Oakland Raiders. And guess what, Michael Willoughby? I am taking the Buffalo Bills. I am buying into the fact they got one of the greatest defenses in the AFC. The question is, can they make the playoffs? Maybe. Depending on what happens with everybody else. I'm taking the Bills. This is the easiest win you're going to get, Buffalo. Take it, enjoy it, and love it. If you lose to Oakland, you don't deserve to be in the playoffs at this point. I know Kansas City lost to them, but Kansas City made up for it later. Next, my Cowboys go home to take on the Indianapolis Colts. Well, unfortunately, here's the problem here. Of course, you know who I'm taking. I'm taking my Cowboys. If you've been watching my videos this long, you know that's what I do. I take my Cowboys every week. Some call it team staying loyal. Some call it team pride. Some others say I'm, I'm blind. Whatever. But I will admit this. Dallas is in a little bit of trouble here. They have not been a good home team this year. That is a fact. DeMarco Moy had, it, had surgery on his hand. We don't know if he's playing fact, if DeMarco Moy does not play, that is going to hurt the Cowboys. Because see, if Colts win, it helps them. If it lose, if the Colts lose, it doesn't hurt them. Colts are already in the playoffs. Cowboys need, this is the Cowboys' second big game in a row. They need this win. Because I, next week they play in Washington, they should be able to beat Washington this time. Since the Cowboys have been a great road team this year. But, this is the game. If they lose this, they're going to need help out the ass of the Cowboys to get into the playoffs. There's a reason why a lot of people have been saying Cowboys could go 11-5 and miss the playoffs. This could determine it. But I'm taking my Cowboys. I have faith in them. I, in the words of Bo Dallas, I believe in the Cowboys this week. Moving on to the Sunday night game, the Seattle Seahawks travel to Arizona, take on the Cardinals. Now, Seahawks need this win to stay ahead of to stay ahead of Philadelphia and to make sure tiebreaker situations with Green Bay and Dallas and whatever. However, I'm taking the Cardinals on this one. I trust them at home more. Granted, Seattle probably has the better quarterback. That's no damn lie. And their defense is good. But we've seen Arizona's defense step up time and time again. Arizona has shown you can just win games with a great defense. It doesn't matter if you have the world's worst quarterback in history. So, yeah. I'm taking Arizona. And this should be the best Sunday night game of the of the season. I hope. I hope to God. <laughs> Main event time, last Monday night football game of the year. It would be the Denver Broncos traveling to WKRP Cincinnati. And I am taking the Denver Broncos. Ah, uh, and thank you for commenting that as I just saw. Demacomoy is playing. He only broke a small bone. Well, thank you for letting me know that, Mr. 
I cannot pronounce your name, so I do apologize for not being able to pronounce your name. I have very bad English, but thank you for letting me know that. Anyway, like I was saying before I caught that little thing, I am taking the Denver Broncos to beat Cincinnati. To win, uh, I'm taking Broncos. I just trust them. Better off. Um, Cincinnati right now. You know, they're at home. I don't trust them. Cincinnati's been a team where you haven't been able to trust this year. They're kind of like the Steelers. You don't know what you're going to get with Cincinnati, in my opinion. So I'm taking Denver on this one. So just as a quick recap. I have Jaguars, San Diego, Philadelphia Eagles, the Miami Dolphins, the Baltimore Ravens, the Lions, the Browns, the Sa when the Saints, oh, when the Saints go marching in, and I got the Green Bay Packers, and I got the Chiefs, Patriots, and Giants. I also got the Bills, killing Oakland, which is nothing new. I got my Dallas Cowboys, the Arizona Cardinals, and the Denver Broncos getting a win this week. Let me know what you think of my picks. Do you agree or disagree? I thank you, everyone who watched this with me all the way through Twitch TV. I thank you very much. And, of course, I thank everyone for watching this on YouTube, through YouTube. Until week 17, or until I do one of my other videos later today, this is the DOUG signing off saying good luck to your teams this week, and I will see you next week for week 17. Do or die week, baby. Gotta love it. Woo! I'm hooked on a feeling. Yeah!